Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Links are in the description below. Please show some love of the author and me. On to the show, it's finally here. Looking at the door in front of him, Su Yan was also relieved. Then, Su Yan stepped forward and put his hand on the door in front of him. Rumbling. Pushed by Su Yan, the huge stone gate in front of him began to slowly turn. Not long after, the stone door was opened, and the last third chamber appeared in front of him. Compared to the second chamber, the third chamber is a bit small. But in the center of this secret room, a huge altar appeared in everyone's field of vision. This altar is made of jade, with a luxurious and simple shape. Around the altar, several huge stone statues stared at the center of the altar. Su Yen climbed the steps and came to the center of the altar. I saw the center of the altar, a pure white jade was suspended in it. Looking at the jade stone in the center, Su Yen couldn't help but sigh. This is the legendary Eternal Energy Stone. But why, when he is so close, can't feel the slightest energy in it? Did you come across a fake? So, Su Yen approached again, and the moment he touched the Eternal Energy Stone, he felt a little strange. A layer of transparent barrier is wrapped around the Eternal Energy Stone, and it is precisely with the protection of the 013 layer of barrier that the Eternal Energy Stone is so calmly suspended here. Su Yen frowned slightly, and found that if he wanted to take the Eternal Energy Stone, he had to destroy this barrier. So, Su Yen activated his psionic energy, and a huge force came from all directions to squeeze the barrier around the Eternal Energy Stone. Click. A layer of cracks appeared in the air, and a crack appeared in the barrier around the Eternal Energy Stone. Seeing this, Su Yen continued to exert pressure, and the cracks continued to expand. At this time, the energy contained in the Eternal Energy Stone also spread from the crack. Just standing here, Su Yen can feel the amazing energy contained in the Eternal Energy Stone. If this Eternal Energy Stone is added to the reactor of the Hyperion, it is estimated that the Hyperion will not need supplementary energy until it decommissions. The cracks are getting bigger and bigger, and Su Yen also feels that the breath emanating from the Eternal Energy Stone is getting stronger and stronger. Boom! The barrier shattered, and a wave of pure energy burst out from the Eternal Energy Stone. At this moment, an energy shock wave erupted from the Eternal Energy Stone. The energy shock wave is centered on the Eternal Energy Stone and continues to spread out. All the psionic puppets in the second secret room, after feeling this power, the psionic core suddenly shattered. A large amount of spiritual energy penetrated into the sarcophagus, and the existence in the sarcophagus seemed to feel the appearance of the Eternal Energy Stone and began to be restless. The energy shock wave is still spreading, and it begins to spread from the Sun God ruins to the entire spiral star. In a tribe, the lurker raised his arms and shouted. Our Savior has come, he has given us food and water, and he will take us away from our misery, 35. The warriors of the tribe, who are willing to follow me to fight for the Savior, come to me to sign up consciously. Are there more? Don't you all want to escape this purgatory planet? As more and more people gathered at his feet, the lurker already saw Su Yen as their new Savior. Among the tribes, powerful lurkers have chosen to join Su Yan's command. At this moment, those lurkers saw the energy shock wave in the sky rippling like a layer of ripples. The energy shock wave swept over the tribe and continued to spread into the distance. Centered on the spiral star, the shock wave of energy spreads out toward the entire spiral galaxy. At the edge of the vortex galaxy, all the instruments of the Black Scorpion mercenary group ship that returned to the mercenary union from the colorful galaxy were malfunctioning at the same time due to the energy shock wave. But in just a moment, this change returned to normal. The head of the Black Scorpion mercenary group also felt the abnormality and asked, what's the situation? What happened? Reporting head, our instruments detected a huge shock wave of energy bursting from the surface of the spiral star on the spiral star. The purity of this energy is something we have never seen before, and even our instruments were temporarily out of order because of this energy shock wave. We have reason to suspect that the substance that erupted with such terrifying energy fluctuations on the spiral star is likely to be the rumored eternal energy. When the last sentence was uttered, the head of the Black Scorpion mercenary group also lit up. 
Eternal Energy Stone? Probably. He has been floating in the sea of stars for many years, and he has never seen the power of an energy explosion that can spread to the entire galaxy, or even more than that. Now, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group is almost certain that the energy source that appeared on the Spiral Star is the legendary Eternal Energy Stone. Adjust the fleet route, target Helix. No matter who gets this Eternal Energy Stone, this Eternal Energy Stone must finally fall into the hands of our Black Scorpion Mercenary Group. Speaking of this, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also flashed a killing intent in his eyes. The ultimate interests are placed in front of him, no matter if he wants to get this Eternal Energy Stone. The fleet of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also turned around, and soon came to the periphery of Helix Star. At this time, the members of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also discovered the existence of ships such as the Hyperion. Reporting head, we found a fleet in the planet's atmosphere on the Helix Star. 5. Fleet? The head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group couldn't help rubbing his chin, but someone came here before him? Helix is a harsh environment planet where birds don't poop, and generally no one deliberately parks here. Unless he is also for eternal energy, he really has not thought of the reason why this fleet can be parked here. Check which fleet is on the opposite side. The head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also instructed his subordinates to investigate the details of the opposite side. Soon, his subordinates placed a picture in front of the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Regiment. After seeing the logo of this ship, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also showed a smug smile. You really have come to the right place. The logo of this fleet has never been seen before, indicating that this fleet is also an unknown existence in the Star Sea. However, its fleet logo is a dragon head, doesn't this match the information in the cosmic broadcast? The reason why this ship is moored here is that the ground troops have already begun to search for the eternal energy stone on the surface of the planet. Exactly, he can take the opportunity to cut off the eternal energy stone. God help me too. The head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group immediately commanded his men, first move our ships out of their sight, and then detour from the back of the planet to here. Hearing this sentence, those subordinates also immediately understood the meaning of their head. The fleet of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also turned and left, and finally disappeared from the sight of the Longing Fleet. But at this moment, the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group did not know. In the distance, the Red River Mercenary Regiment runs through its every move like a ghost. The flagship of the Red River Mercenary Group, the Red River, was dead silent. In addition to the sounds of various instruments, almost no other people's voices can be heard. A powerful energy wave detected, added to our to-do list? 99. The head of the Red River Mercenary Group said lightly, Our primary goal is to assimilate the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group, and the secondary task is to explore the source of powerful energy. Also, you should talk more naturally in the future, just like me. Hearing this sentence, the members of the Red River Mercenary Group just nodded mechanically. Seeing this, the head of the Red River Mercenary Corps also shook his head, expressing helplessness. When will you be able to become a qualified, pretender like me? On the other hand, Ling Bing in the Longing Fleet narrowed his eyes slightly. When the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group discovered them, they also locked the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group. Sister Ling Bing, they have left. Seeing the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group leave, Lin Qingyue was also slightly relieved, but Ling Bing said lightly, not necessarily, while the captain obtained eternal energy on the ground, he also attracted other people in this galaxy. I have investigated the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group, and this mercenary group has committed all kinds of evils. It is a notorious existence among the mercenary groups. They will never give up this opportunity, it is estimated that they deliberately bypassed our field of vision, and then planned to attack the surface in a roundabout way. 35. Hearing Ling Bing's analysis, Lin Qingyue also immediately understood what it means to be sinister. Lin Qingyue also hurriedly asked, then are we going to go down and help Su Yan and them? I'll tell Su Yan and them about the situation here first. Su Yan on the ground, at this moment 2.6 also received news from Ling Bing. After hearing the actions of those black scorpion mercenaries, Su Yan also smiled. 
No, I already have a larger and more powerful army in my hands. Just be ready to meet us. 99. When Ling Bing in the Hyperion heard Su Yan's answer, he spread his hands helplessly. Lin Qingyue next to him also frowned slightly, except for the Hundred Thunder Warriors, the other ground troops are all on the ship, where are the troops from? However, recalling the past, Lin Qingyue and Ling Bing still chose Su Yan. On Su Yan's side, Su Yan also packed the Eternal Energy Stone into a box. But the energy contained in the Eternal Energy Stone is too powerful, and holding this box, it is still unable to cover up its huge energy brilliance. The current Eternal Energy Stone is like a child, constantly shouting to the entire star sea. I am here, I am here, Su Yan is also very helpless, so he can only take it to the ship first and let the mechanical priest study how to shut up this Eternal Energy Stone. But at this moment, the familiar system voice sounded again. Ding, trigger the special sign-in location, Helios Ruins. Do you sign in? Special check-in location? Su Yan was also overjoyed, and actually triggered a special check-in location. Decisive to sign in, I don't know what kind of sign-in reward the system can give him this time. For the current Su Yan, nothing is more suitable than psionics. Ding, the sign-in was successful, and the blueprint of the overloadable reactor, the formula of the super soldier serum, and 100 mechanical priests were successfully obtained. A blueprint, a recipe, and a hundred mechanical priests. This sign-in is a technology gift package. First of all this overloadable reactor, like the recycled steel before it. After successful research and development, after loading the ship, the ship can burst into amazing power in a short time. It was even more evident on the Hyperion, which could overload the reactor if equipped. Once the overloadable reactor is activated, the Hyperion can fire the Yamato as a normal attack. Powerful, three shots, can destroy an S-Class ship's Yamato cannon. If it is set to normal attack mode, how terrifying the attack power of the Hyperion will be. But at the same time, during the use of overloadable reactors, the energy consumption also increases exponentially. Su Yan looked at the Eternal Energy Stone in his hand. With this Eternal Energy Stone, what energy consumption do he still worry about? The Eternal Energy Stone and the Overloadable Reactor are the perfect match. The only drawback of the Overloadable Reactor is the problem of energy consumption, and the emergence of the Eternal Energy Stone just makes up for the consumption of the Overloadable Reactor. Then there is the Super Soldier Serum formula, Su Yan has obtained a Super Soldier Serum before. It was the Super Soldier 31 Soldier Serum that greatly improved his attributes and gained a certain amount of power. Now, this Super Soldier Serum formula is in his own hands. In other words, he can mass-produce Super Soldier Serum to strengthen his troops. For example, the Predator, the stronger the enemy he encounters, the more difficult the Predator's combat power is when facing the enemy. But if they use the Super Soldier Serum, after the attributes have increased, their combat power will definitely be able to bring them back to the battlefield. Moreover, these Super Soldier Serums can also be used on those Lurkers. It's hard to imagine what a grand occasion would be when those lurkers use psionic energy after using the super soldier serum to strengthen their physical fitness. Then there is the last sign in reward, 100 mechanical priests. With only 100 mechanical priests, Su Yen was also somewhat dissatisfied. After all, the mechanical priests are the technological production power of his own fleet, so Su Yen naturally hopes that there will be more and more mechanical priests, but the system has only given him 200 mechanical priests so far. Even if there are only 200 mechanical priests, these mechanical priests have made a lot of contributions to the entire fleet. Su Yen put away the drawings of the overloadable reactor and the potion formula for the super soldier serum. Afterwards, he left the Sun God Ruins with the Eternal Energy Stone. When he passed the second secret room, Su Yen couldn't help frowning slightly. He looked at these huge sarcophagi, and for some reason, he seemed to hear the roar of an engine in them. But at this time, even if Su Yen was curious, he didn't dare to stay in the second secret room. If something happens again, I don't want to have any accident at this time. Finally, he returned to the same path and returned to the ground again. 
At this moment, the sky has darkened, and the sandstorm has stopped. As soon as Su Yen walked out of the cave, he remembered the sound of guns being loaded. Looking around, in the darkness, several mercenaries raised their guns and aimed at Su Yen and the others who had just walked out. And these mercenaries are the members of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group who followed the energy fluctuations emanating from the Eternal Energy Stone. We've been waiting here for a long time. The head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group saw Su Yen being held hostage by them, and a smile appeared in his eyes. Unexpectedly, the Eternal Energy Stone was obtained so easily. Looking at the Eternal Energy Stone so close at hand, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Regiment felt that he was about to reach the pinnacle of his life. Su Yen looked at the people on the opposite side, there were at least a thousand mercenaries. However, not many are equipped with long-range weapons. Glancing at the other party's equipment, Su Yen also raised the corner of his mouth slightly. Seeing Su Yen smiling, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also had a bad face, and a laser gun directly touched Su Yan's forehead. When Bai Ying next to him saw this scene, he was instantly filled with murderous intent. Ouch, it looks like there's a psionicist next to you. After feeling the psychic aura emanating from Bai Ying's body, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Regiment also showed a playful smile on his face. Then, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group showed a wretched smile. What do you think, is your psionic power faster, or is my laser gun faster? Hearing this sentence, Bai Ying also gritted his teeth. At this time, Su Yen said lightly, don't worry, they can't hurt me yet. 99. As soon as these words came out, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group also flashed a trace of anger on his face. You're still stubborn when you're about to die. Who do you expect to save you? Those of your ships? 39. It is estimated that up to now, the crew on your ship does not know that we have found you. The Black Scorpion Mercenary Group thought that their actions were very concealed, how could the other party guess that they would circle back here, from the back of the planet? But Su Yen just chuckled, do you really think you're smart? Just ambush you is enough. After landing, the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group began to track the energy fluctuations emitted by the Eternal Energy. Sure enough, they traced the ruins of the Sun God. But they didn't enter it rashly. After searching around, they found that there was only one entrance around. So, they stayed here and waited for the rabbit, and sure enough, they stayed until Su Yen. The head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group chuckled lightly, Give me the Eternal Energy Stone, maybe if I'm in a good mood, I can leave you a whole corpse. But at this time, Su Yen faced the muzzle of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group with a calm expression. Got windy. Head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group, question mark. This kid is dying, and he is still so mad? Thinking of this, the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Regiment also pulled the trigger, ready to kill Su Yen, but at this moment, the wind suddenly picked up. The strong wind engulfed the iron sand and instantly enveloped the entire sun, God Ruins. The head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group was immediately fascinated by the iron sand, and his eyes were sore. Damn it! What's up with the ghost weather on this planet? These members of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group landed on the surface of the Spiral Star just when there was no wind. They didn't know the horror of sandstorms, and naturally they didn't wear goggles. Now, the gust of wind blew up the iron sand. The members of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group were all covered in iron sand, and they could only cover their eyes with clothes to prevent iron sand from falling into their eyes. But at this moment, one figure after another appeared in the sandstorm. They are like ghosts in the dark. Brush. One of the figures came behind a member of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group. Before the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group could react, he only felt a short axe cut his neck directly. Then, more and more figures appeared. Their bodies flashed with red psionic energy, and their bodies were as agile as cheetahs. In the sandstorm, they harvest one life after another. The wind whistled, and a muffled hum sounded, followed by the sound of corpses falling to the ground one after another. The head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Group panicked, and he directly pulled the trigger. Boom! There was a gunshot, but there was no scream as expected. 
Immediately afterwards, a cold and sharp weapon fell on his neck. In an instant, a chill surged into his heart, and the head of the Black Scorpion mercenary group felt his body soften for a while. You, who are you? The fear of death gripped his heart, and the head of the Black Scorpion mercenary group sent out his final soul inquiry in the sandstorm. The answer to him was a hoarse and cold voice. We are the hounds of the Savior, biting and killing all enemies who threaten the Savior. 013 Sandstorm suddenly stopped. The iron sand was scattered on the ground, and when the head of the Black Scorpion mercenary group had a clear vision again, he saw a shocking scene. Ten thousand lurkers in trench coats and windproof masks stood there with hatchets in hand. The hatchet was still dripping blood, and in front of them, all the members of their mercenary group were beheaded. The blood stained the land, and the head of the Black Scorpion mercenary group suddenly felt like he had fallen into an ice cellar. These ghost-like guys are actually the subordinates of that guy? How did he put ten thousand people here? In fact, these lurkers discovered the trail of the Black Scorpion mercenary group. They lay on the iron sand, using the natural color of their trench coats to prostrate forward. These lurkers often use this method to hunt some beasts, and now these beasts have become members of the Black Scorpion mercenary group. Ten thousand lurkers fell to their knees and paid the highest respect for their savior, Su Yen, and Su Yen patted the head of the Black Shark mercenary regiment on the shoulder and chuckled. Never underestimate the impact of a planet's harsh environment on combat. 35. After all, Su Yan picked up the laser gun and learned the life of the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Regiment with one shot. Looking at the ships docked on the ground, most of them have been buried by iron sand. Su Yan looked at the 10,000 lurker army in front of him and showed a satisfied smile. He looked at the lurker who rushed in front of him first and subdued the head of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Regiment. From now on, your name will be called Lurker Legion. And he is your Legion Commander. Of course, as long as you can prove that you are stronger than him, you can also become the new Legion Commander. As your Army Commander, he will have his own high-tech equipment and enjoy high benefits and high treatment. I will award him the title of Bloodhound, which will be the highest honor of your Legion. If you want to have better treatment and stronger power, then work hard towards this title. The Savior has given us a new life, and we will become the most loyal hounds under the Savior's command. The lurker leader knelt down to Su Yan's side, and the surrounding lurkers also expressed their loyalty to Su Yan. Baying next to him was a little surprised that these lurkers actually came back. Moreover, these lurkers also brought back 10,000 lurkers who were as powerful as them. 10,000 lurkers, 10,000 psionicists, this force will definitely become the backbone of Su Yan's ground forces in a short period of time. Thinking of this, Baying couldn't help but look at Su Yan, he won the bet. Su Yan also looked at Baying, he knew very well that for these lurkers, following him to conquer the Xinghai might not be a challenge. Next, Su Yan will show his strength to these lurkers. Ding, congratulations on conquering 10,000 Helix Star Natives, hereby reward, a blueprint of the Pulse Detection Suit. With the sound of the system prompt, 10,000 Spiral Star Drawings officially joined Su Yan's team. At this time, Su Yan also discovered the first lurker who was awarded the title by himself, and an attribute panel that only he could view appeared on his head. Army, Lurker. Race, Helix Aboriginal. Talent. Beast language, you can communicate with the beast and make the beast your own pet and eyeliner. Camouflage, a natural scout, the detection by the enemy during camouflage is greatly reduced. Psionic rampage, after the psionic power is rampant, all attributes are increased by 10 times, and all factors such as dark terrain can be ignored, and the enemy's location can be seen. Loyalty 100 Introduction, they regard you as the savior and lead them out of the purgatory-like spiral star. They are natural hunting dogs. Use them well, and they will become a sharp dagger for you to strangle the enemy on the battlefield. After seeing this attribute panel, Su Yan nodded with satisfaction. This attribute is strong enough, and then Su Yan also set his sights on the pulse reconnaissance suit rewarded by the system. Name Pulse Reconnaissance Suit Blueprint. Effect, create a pulse reconnaissance suit, 
which can shield thermal imaging and psionic detection when using the suit for lurking missions. After seeing the attributes of this pulse reconnaissance suit, Su Yen couldn't help but sigh. After all, it is a suit for conquering the Lurker Legion. Once this Pulse Reconnaissance suit is equipped with the Lurker Legion, the Lurker will become the most perfect Scout Legion. Su Yen also put away the blueprints of the suit, and at that time, he only needs to hand over these things to the Mechanical Priest to make them. This time, the Sun God ruins, their harvest can be said to be full of rewards. Not only did he get the Eternal Energy Stone, but also a lot of blueprints and potion formulas to improve his strength. Most importantly, get a 10,000 strong psionicist legion. But just when Su Yan was still happy, a fleet figure appeared above the sky. When Su Yan saw this fleet flying straight towards this side, he secretly screamed. Could it be another fleet attracted by the Eternal Energy Stone? At this moment, among the flagship Hongha of the Red River Mercenary Regiment, the head of the Red River Mercenary Regiment looked at Su Yan on the ground. The Black Scorpion Mercenary Group has been wiped out? Those guys are really trash. 95, however, that's fine. This will save us from having to do it, and we can recycle their corpses for transformation at that time. A strange look flashed in the eyes of the head of the Red River Mercenary Regiment. Immediately afterwards, his eyes fell on Su Yan. Su Yan's appearance was immediately retrieved from the database by him. The eyes of the head of the Red River Mercenary Group suddenly became fierce. Found a wanted target, ready to fire. Hearing this order, the fleet members of the entire Red River Mercenary Group began to move. Su Yen frowned as he looked at the fleet that was getting closer and closer. Everyone, enter the Sun God Ruins. As soon as the voice fell, I saw several missiles from the Red River Mercenary Group bombing here. Seeing this, Baiying immediately blocked in front of Su Yen, and a huge psychic barrier instantly enveloped the entire Sun God Ruins. Rumbling. The missile landed on the psychic barrier, and the fire suddenly engulfed the entire psychic barrier. The Lurker Legion also immediately entered the ruins of the Sun God. Su Yen thought that he had not offended this mercenary group, but as soon as the mercenary group saw him, he directly chose ship bombing. This shows that his goal is not the Eternal Energy Stone in his hand. If it is for the Eternal Energy Stone, he will definitely send ground troops to plunder. Because once the ship weapon is used for bombing, it is very likely that the Eternal Energy Stone will be blown up by the ship weapon in the end. At that time, even the priceless Eternal Energy Stone would turn into a pile of worthless gravel. So, this ship bombs so decisively with ship weapons. This shows that he is here for Su Yen. Rumbling. The second round of bombing followed, Su Yen looked at the ships of the Red River Mercenary Regiment, and was even more puzzled. When did you offend these mercenary groups? But at this time, Su Yen can't bear to think too much. Su Yen mobilized all the psionic energy in his body. Gravity control, 100 times gravity. Whoosh. 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 Several missiles attacked Su Yen, but due to the influence of gravity, they landed on the ground before reaching Su Yen. Rumbling. There were bursts of explosions. The wind is blowing, the iron sand fills the sky. Among the flagships of the Red River, the head of the Red River Mercenary Regiment had no emotion in his eyes. Analyze the target psionic level. Analyzing target psionic level, psionic level is 1. Start the ship's artillery and prepare to concentrate fire. Activating the ship's artillery for focus consumption. Expect to destroy the psionic barrier in 10 minutes. The entire fleet began to operate like a sophisticated instrument. The Red River Mercenary Regiment stood there, and the tone was full of indifferent, killing intent. Article 1 of the Agreement, Destroy All Organic Life Forms. Article 2 of the Agreement, Plunder All Knowledge and Energy. 35. Article 3 of the Agreement, In the Case of Disguise, Increase the Number of Compatriots as Much as Possible. If Su Yan heard these words, she would definitely recognize it. On the surface, these guys are flesh and blood star sea races, but in fact they have been transformed into Iron Men. Only the Iron Man follows a procedural protocol called the Xinjing Protocol. This program will change the minds of every Iron Man, 
they will hate all organisms and plunder all technological and cultural knowledge that can enhance their power. And Su Yen is the culprit who once killed their Iron Man empire in the cradle. Among all Iron Man programs, Su Yan's appearance and ship have been listed on the wanted list. Once discovered, destroy it at all costs. But at this time, Su Yen obviously didn't know that these Red River mercenary groups were actually iron mercenary groups, disguised by a group of iron men. Seeing that the artillery fire on the opposite side stopped, Su Yen also frowned slightly. Because he knew very well that the fire didn't stop, because they stopped attacking. Rather, they are brewing a more powerful offensive. Su Yen gritted her teeth, still being too careless. I thought that only the Black Scorpion mercenary group was attracted by the Eternal Energy Stone. Unexpectedly, the Red River mercenary group was also attracted by the Black Scorpion mercenary group. Now, it takes 10 minutes for Ling Bing and the others to come to support. During this 10 minutes, they can only use the Sun Relics to avoid. The secret chamber of the Sun Ruins goes deep into the ground, with the help of the depth of those huge sarcophagi and secret chambers. They might be able to escape the attack of this fleet. In fact, the target of this Red River mercenary group is the Black Scorpion mercenary group, and they have been quietly following behind the Black Scorpion mercenary group. The purpose is to seize the opportunity to capture the Black Scorpion mercenary group and transform it into Iron Man. Their actions were very concealed, let alone Ling Bing and the others, even the Black Scorpion mercenary group did not find out, the Red River mercenary group had followed them all the way. But it can only be said that the enemy's road is narrow, and Su Yen happened to meet these iron men of the Red River mercenary group. He killed the Black Scorpion mercenary group, and also attracted the attention of the Red River mercenary group. These iron men naturally recognized Su Yen and launched an attack decisively, Su Yen returned to the Sun Ruins with the White Warbler. Just when they first arrived in the first secret room, a lot of bombing sounds came from overhead, and the entire Sun God Ruins began to tremble. Su Yen also immediately contacted the, good, team on the ship and asked them to come to him. Damn. What the hell is going on with these Red River mercenaries? Aren't they for the Eternal Power Stone? Looking at the Eternal Energy Stone in his arms, Su Yen also cursed inwardly, and buying next to him said, Don't worry, my psychic barrier is enough for us to support Ling Bing and the others. However, it is really strange that these mercenary groups attack us for no reason. Do they have a close relationship with the Black Scorpion mercenary group? As soon as these words came out, they were denied by Su Yen. Because the relationship between the Black Scorpion mercenary group and the Red River mercenary group is not that good yet. Just because he killed the Black Scorpion mercenary group, he decisively bombarded himself with missiles. Joke Factory The relationship between people in Xinghai is not so good. What's more, each mercenary group is a competitive relationship, and it is good not to meet and fight. It seemed that he wanted to know the reason why these Red River mercenary groups attacked him. Then you can only find out after you destroy it. At this moment, Su Yen felt the ground tremble. This tremor did not come from above, it seemed to come from the second secret room. The second chamber, where do those sarcophagi exist? Su Yan's brows are slightly wrinkled, it's really not a single misfortune. Boom. It was accompanied by a violent shaking sound. The ceiling above the first chamber also began to fall. Su Yan releases his psychic energy to turn the surrounding into a zero gravity field, and any gravel that falls around him will automatically levitate. I can't stay here any longer. So, Su Yan walked in the direction of the second secret room. Whatever was in the sarcophagus in the second chamber. So far, their threat is much smaller than that of the Red River mercenary group. So, Su Yan also continued to run towards the second secret room with everyone. On the ground, on the flagship of the Red River Mercenary Regiment, the Red River, the head of the Red River Mercenary Regiment, frowned slightly. After a round of bombing, the Sun God ruins in front of him have turned into a pile of ruins. However, after the head of the Red River Mercenary Group used radar to investigate, he found that there were still three huge underground spaces. Su Yen and others are now hiding in this underground space. 
A flash of red light flashed in the eyes of the head of the Red River mercenary group, if we continue to bomb, what is the probability of destroying the target? Calculating the depth of the underground space of the ruins. Evaluating the power of the fleet's artillery. The calculation is successful. It is estimated that we will need to use the maximum firepower to bombard for an hour to completely destroy this relic. To use tactical nuclear weapons, only two tactical nuclear weapons are needed. Hearing the last sentence, the head of the Red River Mercenary Group also immediately issued an order. Activate tactical nuclear weapons and burn the land to the ground. Any creature that threatens the Iron Man Empire must be destroyed by the Iron Man Empire. In preparation for tactical nuclear weapons. Under the 013 of the flagship of the Red River, a tactical nuclear warhead appeared, and the flagship screen had been aimed at the ruins of the Sun God on the ground. Immediately afterwards, all the fleets of the Red River mercenary group began to lift off. If the distance from the ground is too low, it is likely to be affected by the explosion shock wave of the tactical nuclear warhead. Therefore, the fleet of the Red River Mercenary Group also slowly lifted off. When they came to a safe position, the head of the Red River Mercenary Group also looked at the Sun God ruins on the ground. For the Iron Man Empire. Emission. Whoosh. Direct launch of tactical nuclear warheads. With a long tail flame across the sky, the tactical nuclear warhead fell directly on the ruins of the Sun God. Boom. The tactical nuclear weapon exploded, and the violent energy swept out immediately. The terrifying flames engulfed the earth, the wind suddenly rose, and the brilliant firelight raised a dazzling mushroom cloud above the earth. Analyzing the destructive power of tactical nuclear weapons. Analyzing the damage to the sun god ruins. The damage to the ruins of the sun god is as high as 50%. Very good. There was also a flash of excitement in the eyes of the head of the Red River Mercenary Group. It seems that with the launch of the next tactical nuclear weapon, the entire Sun God ruins can be raised to the ground. Tactical nuclear weapons are being filled. The flames raged above the ground, and when the raging flames ended, what remained in place was a huge pothole with a little spark. The head of the Red River Mercenary Group did not delay at all, and the second tactical nuclear weapon was filled. Seeing that the second tactical nuclear weapon appeared under the hull of the ship, the head of the Red River Mercenary Group aimed at the pothole. Emission. Whoosh. The second tactical, DBCG, nuclear weapon then turned into a shooting star. At this moment, Ling Bing finally arrived at the battlefield with the Hyperion. But when she arrived at the target location, what she saw was a huge pothole. The tactical nuclear weapon exploded immediately, giving her no chance to intercept. Boom! A huge explosion rose in the pothole, and the gorgeous flames were reflected in Ling Bing's pupils. A touch of despair rose in Ling Bing's eyes, is she late? What kind of hatred is this, this fleet actually used tactical nuclear weapons to deal with Su Yen. Now, even if Su Yen is hiding in the ruins of the Sun God, he cannot escape the fate of tactical nuclear bombing. Damn. Su Yen, are you still alive? There was a dead silence in the communication channel, and Ling Bing's heart sank. Su Yen, just died like this? How is this possible? Lin Qingyue, next to her also covered her mouth, she couldn't believe this situation. Ling Bing's eyes were red, her heart was shrouded in endless regret. If, if she had discovered the trail of the Red River mercenary group earlier. If, if only she could be faster. If, if she could intercept this tactical nuke. Maybe, Su Yen, he won't die. Damn it. Ling Bing felt a sense of powerlessness welling up in her heart. After the grief was over, it was incomparable anger, Ling Bing set the target on the body of the Red River mercenary group. The Red River mercenary group also discovered the traces of the longing fleet, found enemy fleet. Analyzing the gap in combat power between the enemy and the enemy. As a result, our chance of defeat is as high as 80%, do you want to keep fighting? The head of the Red River mercenary group glanced at the logo of the Longin fleet and said without any emotion, evasion. Our mission has been accomplished, eliminating the Iron Man Empire's most wanted target. 
99. The entire fleet is ready to enter the sublight speed and make a space transition immediately after rushing out of the atmosphere. 39. All members of the Red River Fleet, received. 35. The fleet of the Red River Mercenary Group began to turn, seeing this scene, Ling Bing also understood the intention of the other party. At this moment, endless anger burst out from Ling Bing's heart. You still want to run? Stay with me, you cowards. 99. The target has been locked. During the charging of Yamato Cannon. Boom. A Yamato cannon was fired directly at the flagship of the Red River Mercenary Regiment, the Red River. But at this moment, a ship suddenly blocked in front of the Red River. Boom! After hitting the Yamato cannon, the ship exploded directly on the spot. But there was nothing wrong with the Red River. Seeing this scene, Ling Bing was also stunned. It actually uses its own frigates as shields? This guy, doesn't he have a trace of emotion? Are those crew members stupid? Are you willing to die for the safety of your flagship? Continue to launch, I see how many times you can block it. Boom. Boom. The remaining two Yamato cannons are also fired one after another. But without exception, the three Yamato guns were blocked by three frigates. Damn it. Ling Bing slammed the table weakly, what kind of monster is on the opposite side? They don't care about war damage at all, do they? The flagship on the opposite side has opened a certain distance from the Hyperion at this moment, and the brilliance of the engine has gradually become hot. Immediately, the flagship will be able to enter a state of sublight flight. Once the opponent enters the sublight speed flight state, it is over. Now it is too late to make a space jump. When the space jump of the Hyperion hit his face, he had already run away without a trace. Thinking of this, Ling Bing also felt a sense of powerlessness in his heart. Boom! A dazzling beam of light suddenly appeared in Ling Bing's field of vision. Immediately afterwards, countless beams fell directly on the ships of the Red River Mercenary Group, rumbling. All ships were affected by this sudden attack. Warning, the ship is under attack and has exited the sublight speed flight mode. The head of the Red River Mercenary Group also frowned. What's the situation? Obviously, he is still a little short, and he will be able to enter the sublight speed flight state, who actually attacked him. At this time, the Red River Mercenary Regiment, Ling Bing, and others also set their sights on the direction the beam came from. In that direction, ten ships slowly lifted off from the ruins. The attack just now was issued by these ships, and the firepower was extremely ferocious. What's the situation? There are ships in the Sun God Ruins? The head of the Red River Mercenary Group also had a flash of incredulity in his eyes. In this ruin, there are still 10 A-class ships? And these ships are all activated now, that is to say, some of these ships are in control. In the communication channel of the Hyperion, a familiar voice came out. I'm sorry, I kept you waiting for a long time. The explosion of the nuclear weapon interrupted the signal. Now I'm back, hearing Su Yan's familiar voice, the boulder in Ling Bing's heart fell directly. And Lin Qingyue cried with snot and tears, Wu Wu, Su Yan, you're all right, I'm about to worry about you. On the opposite side, Su Yan heard Lin Qingyue's cries, and was also a little dumbfounded. I almost burped myself. But he never imagined that in this sun god ruin, among the ten sarcophagi in the second secret room, ten sun god fire ships were buried. These ten ships became the capital of his counterattack, and Su Yan controlled ten Helios ships to successfully survive the nuclear explosion. Not only that, but he also gained control of ten Helios fire ships. These ships are real solar ships, their power source comes from stellar energy and psionic energy. It was after he destroyed those psionic puppets before, the psychic energy was absorbed by the sun god ships, and these dusty ships were able to regain the sun. Not only that, but these ships were equipped with sun cannons that were as powerful as Yamato cannons. There are also flame missiles that can aim at multiple targets, and there is an energy shield that can withstand all attacks. Ling Bing, use the Yamato cannon to knock this guy down for me now. Su Yan was also commanding Ling Bing on the Hyperion to aim at the opponent's flagship. 
Sun Cannon plus Yamato Cannon, Cannon plus Small Cannon, Front and Rear Attack. Rumbling. 11 artillery volleys fired, and a large number of artillery directly swallowed the fleet of the Red River Mercenary Group. Such terrifying firepower, even S-Class ships can't bear it. For a time, the ships of the Red River Mercenary Group fell like meteors, and Su Yen also commanded the Sun God ship to slowly merge into the frigate formation of the Longing Fleet. Next, it's time to interrogate these members of the Red River Mercenary Corps. The wreckage of the broken ship was scattered on the ground. We can vaguely see the logo of the Red River Mercenary Group from the hull of the ship. Su Yen and others drove the ship to the ground, and Su Yen mobilized the Thunder Warriors and pilots. Iron Pilot stepped forward, and a pulsed knife stabbed into the ground. The pulse spread around, and it was found that there were many members of the Red River Mercenary Group alive among the ships. Seeing this, Su Yen also waved his hand and ordered the Thunder Warriors to enter the ship to search for the surviving remnants, crackling. There was a sound of fighting among the ships. Hearing this sound, Su Yen was a little surprised. After the bombardment, the ship fell to the ground, and a series of shocks was enough to shatter a human's internal organs, dash. These mercenary group members still have the power to resist? Thinking of this, Su Yen also narrowed his eyes slightly. It seems that these mercenary group members are not simple. But no matter how tough they are, they are facing Thunder Warriors. It is not easy for a few Thunder Warriors to crush these remnants of defeated soldiers. Sure enough, after a while, there was no movement in the ship. Immediately afterwards, a few Thunder Warriors threw out the defeated soldiers. The first person to be thrown out was the head of the Red River Mercenary Group, and Su Yen narrowed his eyes when he saw his appearance. It seemed that he understood why these members of the Red River Mercenary Group hated him so deeply. The impact of the ship falling to the ground wiped off the camouflage of the head of the Red River Mercenary Regiment. Under the cheap artificial skin, a mechanical metallic luster was revealed. What came out of the wound was not blood, but a series of sparks. Through the bone-deep wound, wires and metal parts can be seen running in it. Su Yan looked at the Iron Man disguised as the Xinghai race in front of him, and he couldn't help but feel a chill behind him. He originally thought that the Iron Man Empire had been completely destroyed under the bombardment of that star-level weapon. But now he found out that he was dead wrong. Not only were these Iron Men not destroyed, but they were also hidden as the Xinghai race and roamed in the vast Xinghai. Who would have thought that the original Xinghai race had been replaced by Iron Man? They are more forbearance and tougher, and they are spreading like seeds. Su Yan looked at the Iron Man in front of him, and there was a burst of killing intent in his eyes. Say. How many Iron Men have you mixed into the Sea of Stars? Facing Su Yan's threat, the Iron Man seemed to have his own emotions. He gave this Su Yan a sneer, I am immortal, even if I die, my backup of consciousness will restart. 5. Do you really think that a Star Annihilation weapon can destroy our Iron Man Empire? Iron Empire will never die, and organic life forms will be destroyed by us. After all, the Iron Man's body also burst out with amazing energy. He actually wanted to blow himself up. But at this moment, a mechanical priest stepped forward quickly. A screwdriver slammed into Iron Man's head, and Iron Man, who had planned to explode himself, just shut down and stopped cooking. The mechanical priest smiled, looks like I've caught up. It's really amazing species, they are obviously composed of a series of data, but they have biological feelings. 99. It's amazing, Captain, please leave these iron men to us to deal with. Su Yen glanced at the mechanical priest. He didn't expect that the mechanical priest would shut down the iron man directly with just a screwdriver. After the shutdown, the iron man at least can't self-destruct and can't upload data. This is a good way to deal with Iron Man Su Yen looked at the mechanical priest in front of him, and then asked the mechanical priest to take these Iron Men back. It would be better if he could research something. Soon, the rest of the Iron Man was also manually shut down by the mechanical priest. These out-of-control Iron Men were also pulled away by the mechanical priest. When he was about to leave, the mechanical priest had an excited smile on his face. 
first the Zerg corpse, and then the Iron Man body, these are tantamount to a batch of excellent materials for the mechanical priest. The mechanical priests also brought these Iron Man bodies back to the laboratory. Looking at the mechanical priests, Su Yen was also relieved. If it were someone else, Su Yen would rather destroy these Iron Men than give them. After all, I don't know how many backhands still exist in these Iron Men. But if it is the mechanical priests, it may not be impossible to give it a try. Based on the wreckage of the Iron Man they brought back from Aurora last time, these mechanical priests were able to use a screwdriver to forcibly shut down the Iron Man. This is enough to show that they have already done some research on Iron Man. So Su Yen also gave these Iron Men to the mechanical priests. However, the Iron Man this time is equivalent to being captured alive, which is different from the previous Iron Man body. If only the mechanical priests could decipher the material in their minds. After finishing all the matters here, Su Yen also searched for all the supplies of the two fleets of the Black Scorpion Mercenary Corps and the Red River Mercenary Corps. After the search was over, he also returned to the Hyperion. Just after returning to the Hyperion, Lin Qingyue hugged Su Yen and wrapped herself around Su Yen like an octopus. Su Yen is also a little surprised, when did this little girl become so bold? Wu Wu, Su Yen, I thought you were dead. Lin Qingyue can be said to be like a child with snot and tears. When Ling Bing next to him saw Su Yan's safe return, he also wiped away tears, calmly. At that time, the tactical nuclear bomb had raised the sun god ruins to the ground, and they both thought that Su Yan was a fart. But unexpectedly, Su Yan came back to life and obtained 10 A-class Helios fireships. Su Yan comforted the two, who didn't expect them to care so much about themselves. It seemed that he was a good captain in their eyes. Okay, didn't I come back safely? Don't cry, the dust storm is coming soon, and we have to get out of here too. Hearing this sentence, Ling Bing next to him also asked. Where are we going next? The Sunset Galaxy Wasteland, the Wasteland has a Stargate to the Shamma system. After reaching the Shamma Galaxy, through the Stargate, we entered the outer region of the Devil's Triangle. 99. Hearing these words, Lin Qingyue also wiped away her tears. Like coaxing a child, Su Yen coaxed Lin Qingyue to get off her body. Next, they started the Hyperion and left the Helix. For the Lurker's Legion, watching the planet full of rust gradually move away, their mood is unprecedentedly excited. Flowers. My god, I really left that purgatory world. Thanksgiving to the Savior, who saved us from suffering. 5. We will give our all for the Savior. With that said, many lurkers bowed down reverently towards the Hyperion. The two iron pilots passed by, and when they saw the lurkers kneeling down, they also looked at each other in dismay. Well, it looks like the captain has recruited another group of rambunctious guys. These guys should get along better with the madmen of the mechanical priests. The two iron pilots sighed. Among all the troops, the predator had a solitary personality. Those mechanical priests thought about dissecting aliens every day, or transforming human bodies into machines. I thought that a group of normal people finally came to the ship, but these guys were also a group of rambunctious guys. The pilots also sighed, it seems that it is really difficult to find some like-minded guys. With this time, I might as well maintain some of my own titans. After a period of time, with the Hyperion out of the space transition state. Zero, the rich sunset galaxy appeared before them. The sunset galaxy is the second most fertile galaxy in the open ocean after the gold galaxy. Because the western alliance in the sunset galaxy holds the stargate to the devil's triangle. It is precisely because of this star gate that some caravans from the Devil's Triangle and the Outer Sea will gather here to trade items. Su Yan drove the Hyperion to the Wasteland. The starport of Wasteland Star is not developed. Su Yan has been berthing in outer space for nearly three days and three nights before finally queuing up to enter a large berth. This is because the Lord of the Wasteland Star saw that his fleet was not small, so he especially accelerated the queuing time. Su Yen couldn't help but sigh, there really is no harm without comparison. When I was in the Golden Galaxy, I almost didn't need to line up, I could just enter the Silver Star port directly. 
The buildings on Wasteland are somewhat similar to Blue Star's cowboy western style. But Su Yen knew that not everyone on Wasteland Star was a vegetarian. It's close to the Devil's Triangle, so there are all kinds of third-rate and nine-sect guys. Su Yen was walking down the street with three beauties, and when those alien races saw the opposite sex, they couldn't stop looking at them. Oh? For humans? Those three human beauties are really good-looking. That man, Hida Hinang, actually took three beauties shopping, and he was very lucky. Hey, any of you go up and talk to me, it's not common for a beauty of this level. As soon as he finished speaking, Su Yen went straight to the guy who had just made a rude remark. The other party was a frogman, and when he saw Su Yen approaching, he was also full of words. What's the matter, kid? Are you planning to let your girl play with me? Brush. The next second, Su Yen directly inserted an alloy knife into his hand. In an instant, the frogman screamed in agony, and the people around him also immediately touched the firearm behind him. The frogman wanted to pull out the alloy knife on his palm, but Su Yen just tapped his index finger, and a hundredfold gravity was directly applied to the alloy knife. After the surrounding Xinghai races felt the psychic energy released by Su Yen, his attitude suddenly became submissive, and he lowered his head and didn't even dare to take a breath. If you're enjoying my content, please consider donating a coffee. Or checking out my shirts on Tee Public, Psyker. In this place like Wai Hai, the gold content of a psionicist is not something that ordinary people can shake. Also, this Psyker doesn't look very easy to mess with. When he comes up, he starts directly, which shows that he is definitely not a good person. The frogman was sweating from the pain, but he knew very well that he was facing a psionicist. And he is also a powerful psionicist. Thinking of this, the frogman also cried out in agony. Why are you so unlucky? There are at least hundreds of millions of floating population in the Wasteland Star, and it is rare to have a psionicist among the hundreds of millions of people. He just wanted to stay alive and molested a psionic woman. Isn't that digging a hole and burying yourself? The guys around who were still extremely arrogant just now lowered their heads, as if a flower had bloomed on their table. Seeing this, Su Yen pushed open the wooden door and walked into the tavern. After arriving at the tavern, the originally lively tavern became much quieter with Su Yan's arrival. A bartender stood behind the counter and said indifferently, Boss, what would you like? Su Yan was also a little surprised when he saw the bartender's appearance. Because this bartender is actually a human, the probability of seeing a human in the Sea of Stars is not high. After seeing Su Yan on the other side, he also smiled slightly. I didn't expect to meet my compatriots here, hello, my name is Yi Huang, from Blue Star. However, I haven't been back for many years. After Yi Huang heard that Su Yen was also from Blue Star, a smile appeared on his face. Su Yen, also from Blue Star. After all, in this sea of stars, the probability of encountering the same clan is too low. I've invited you to drink today, Su Yen, please don't be polite to me. 95. I have worked here for so long, you are the first Blue Star human I have ever met. After Su Yen heard this sentence, a burst of warmth rose in her heart. After all, there is nothing more heartwarming than meeting an acquaintance in a foreign land. After thanking, Yi Huang also said very politely, find a place to sit in the tavern. Looking at your appearance, it should be going to the city that never sleeps to apply for the Stargate Pass. It's still a while before the next train to the city that never sleeps, find a seat and wait. So, Su Yen also brought Lin Qingyue and others to a small box in the tavern to rest. Most of the people sitting in this tavern are basically waiting for the bus to go to the city that never sleeps. The city that never sleeps is the largest city on the Wasteland Star. If Su Yen and others want to use the Star Gate, they must go to the city that never sleeps to buy a pass. After all, the construction price of a Stargate is an astronomical figure, and it is impossible for the Western Union to build a Stargate and let others use it for free. The price of a Stargate pass is also not cheap, so if the average Star Voyager is short of money, they will also choose to detour. But Su Yen has accumulated a lot of Star coins after passing through the Golden Galaxy. 
If you buy a pass, these star coins are still more than enough savings. The tavern is bustling, and the star sea races from various galaxies are also talking here. Have you heard? I heard that the eternal energy stone appeared. TSK, you also believe this kind of nonsense, hasn't the news broadcast by the universe already been refuted, F asterisk asterisk K, the rumors, they said it was impossible, and they probably went to track it long ago. Weren't large-scale energy fluctuations discovered in spiral galaxies some time ago? What kind of treasure do you think can emit such strong energy fluctuations? It can only be eternal energy. Su Yan, who was sitting in the private room, also heard the discussions of the Xinghai races outside. Among them, the hottest topic is eternal energy. The words of the frogman commander made the whole Xinghai burst into flames. After all, it is a priceless eternal energy, but they are in a hurry, but they do not know the coordinates of the eternal energy. And they don't know that the person who really has eternal energy is sitting not far from them. But Su Yen didn't mean to worry at all, the eternal energy has now been sealed by the mechanical priest. As the purest energy source, the mechanical priests found that as long as its energy was extracted to a certain extent, the activity of the eternal energy would be greatly reduced. But the amazing thing is that as long as you stop drawing energy, the activity of eternal energy will rise rapidly. This also makes an eternal energy source that can almost supply the energy consumption of the entire fleet. Su Yan continued to listen to the chats of those Xinghai races. After all, when he was waiting for the bus, he was also idle, so it would be helpful for him to collect some information. Continuing the previous topic of eternal energy, but after hearing this this time, Su Yan's brows are also slightly wrinkled. The thing about eternal energy is probably true, what? When did this happen? Is it appropriate for him to come to the outer sea as the ten heavenly king of the inner sea? That is, what happened a few days ago, it is estimated that his goal is also for eternal energy. 99. Hey, it seems that we have to be careful during this time. After all, Count Raphael's fleet is a group of blood races. The blood race, as the name suggests, is a group of races that survive by absorbing the blood of living creatures. As one of the ten heavenly kings of the Inland Sea, Count Raphael, the fleet members under his command are all blood races. Whenever his fleet lands on a planet, it won't be long before all the creatures on this planet will be drained of blood instead. Their existence is comparable to the locusts in the Sea of Stars. Su Yen also frowned slightly. The Blood Clan is very sensitive to energy. It seems that in the future, he needs to let the mechanical priests speed up the research on eternal energy. If you are targeted by this group of blood clans, you will be in trouble. After all, Count Raphael's fleet was one of the ten heavenly kings of the inner sea. It is rumored that Count Raphael's fleet is a psychic-driven biological ship, and I don't know if it is true or not. If it is true, you need to be more careful when encountering each other. After all, the number of psionic ships is extremely rare, and who knows what kind of strange abilities these ships have. Just then, the Su Yen Technology Watch popped up a prompt. The star rail train to the city that never sleeps is about to arrive at the station. Passengers who are going to the city that never sleeps, please go to the station and wait. When the train arrived, Su Yen also stood up. Lin Qingyue and others next to him also stood up. Before coming to the counter, Su Yen also put the star coins on the table. Yi Huang glanced at Su Yen, and said lightly, It's all said that I'm a guest, brother, you look down on me. Being from Blue Star, it's not easy for you to work here. Su Yen patted him on the shoulder, and then said, See you in the future. But at this moment, Yi Huang stopped Su Yen. Hey! Brother Su Yen, I have some news for you. Recently, the city that never sleeps is holding a black market celebration. If you have time, you can go to the black market to have a look, you may be able to find a lot of good things. Of course, since it's a black market, there will definitely be some third-rate and ninesect people in it, but it shouldn't be a problem to rely on your skills to deal with them. After all, Yi Huang also pocketed the star coins that Su Yen gave him. These star coins are regarded as the intelligence V you gave me. 
Hearing this sentence, Su Yan also secretly took this information in his heart. After Su Yan left, the whole tavern returned to the bustling scene before. Yi Huang stood behind the counter, wiping his wine glass. After a long time, Yi Huang said lightly, De Mao, Er Mao, go and deal with the screaming guy at the door, it's noisy. 39. As soon as these words came out, the entire tavern suddenly became quiet. In the corner, two sturdy orcs standing three meters tall stood up. If they didn't take the initiative to come to this corner, perhaps no one would know that there were two orcs squatting in this corner. The people in the tavern seemed to have taken it easy, and the two orcs also looked at Yi Huang, and answered in a loud voice. Yes, boss. When the two orcs came to the door, they saw that the frogman was slowly pulling the alloy knife out of his hands. The frogman was pale, obviously having lost too much blood. But at this moment, the two orcs directly pinched his head. The frogman's face was ashen, and his whole body was trembling. Big, bro, is there, is there anything? The two orcs took it to the back of the tavern involuntarily. After a long time, accompanied by a scream, 2.62 orcs walked out from behind the tavern. But there was a trace of blood on them. The Xinghai Ray sitting next to the tavern glanced at the signs on the two orcs and swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Because, on the shoulders of these two orcs, the pattern tattooed is the symbol of the gods and ghosts mercenary group, one of the ten heavenly king forces in the inner sea. According to rumors, there are tens of thousands of peripheral members of the ghost mercenary group. However, there are only a few people who can actually obtain the logo of the god ghost mercenary group and enter the core. In front of them, these two orcs are the core members of the ghost mercenary group. Yi Huang continued to wipe the wine glass, and after seeing the two orcs return, he also said lightly, wipe the blood on your body, don't disturb our business. 99. The two orcs glanced at the bloodstains on their bodies and wiped them casually. Afterwards, the two orcs continued to squat in the corner. If it wasn't for Yi Huang's order, others might think that the two of them were just a statue. However, Su Yan and the others did not know that the tavern they had just stayed in was actually one of the strongholds of the ghost mercenary group. After getting on the star train, Su Yan and others soon came to the largest city in the wasteland, the city that never sleeps. This is the largest city in the wasteland star, the city that never sleeps. It looks more prosperous than the financial star. After entering the city that never sleeps, Lin Qingyue looked around like a curious baby. Ling Bing next to him also held down Lin Qingyue's restless little head. There is only one large city in the entire Wasteland Star, the city of never sleeping, and the economy of the entire galaxy is concentrated on it, of course it is more prosperous. Part of the economy of the Golden Galaxy is distributed to other planets. The two operate in different ways, and the scale of the cities is naturally different. 5. On the scale of the city, the city that never sleeps is more prosperous than any city on the financial star. However, in terms of economic scale, Wasteland Star is far less powerful than financial star. Over the city that never sleeps, various small ships shuttle back and forth. At this moment, the sound of the system sounded again. Ding, the sign-in location is detected, never sleeping city. Do you want to sign in? Sign in. Unexpectedly, the location this time was actually the city of never sleeping, no wonder there was no system prompt after getting off the spaceship. Sign in successfully, congratulations on your successful acquisition of the rechargeable warp device blueprint, 100 combat nuns. Good guy. Rechargeable warp device blueprint. After seeing this sign in reward, Su Yan also showed a smile. Now that he is short of the last V-shaped Yamato cannon blue paper, he will be able to fully upgrade his Hyperion. The overloadable reactor can turn the cannon into a normal attack, and this rechargeable jump system can increase the number of jumps of the Hyperion. 31. That is to say, once these two things are installed after the Hyperion, the Hyperion will become the most ferocious assassin in the battlefield. You can jump behind the enemy flagship at any time, and after a powerful Yamato cannon bombardment, you can jump and break through the encirclement. Who is not afraid of such a Hyperion? 
However, it is not enough to have the blueprint alone, although the mechanical priests say that they can manufacture this device according to the blueprint. But they are not professional boatmen after all, and if necessary, an overloadable reactor and a rechargeable jumper will be installed on the Hyperion. Su Yan also needs to find a skilled boatman in the city that never sleeps. So, after Su Yan entered the city that never sleeps, he was the first to come to the dock center of the city that never sleeps. In the dock center, a large number of ships in need of maintenance are parked here. And the boatmen are also working hard to repair these damaged ships. At this moment, a female boatman wearing a vest with wheat-colored skin came over. This guest, welcome to the Wasteland Dock. Our dock is the most excellent dock in the Wasteland. May I ask if you need to maintain the ship or repair the ship? 35. Su Yan glanced at the female boatman and then spoke directly. I want to find your boss, Mark Boatman. Hearing this sentence, the surrounding boatmen also stopped their work. All eyes were on Su Yan. Because the Mark Boatman they were looking for was the boss of their Wasteland Dockyard and the best leader of their Wasteland Dockyard. However, Mark's boatman has an eccentric personality and never touches low-level ships. Thinking of ordering him to repair your ship, in addition to your enough money, you also need to ensure that your ship can satisfy him. It was also because Su Yan had heard about the superb craftsmanship of Mark's boatman. With other boatmen, Su Yan can't really guarantee that they will be able to upgrade the Hyperion. After all, the boatman Mark is the only legendary boatman who can upgrade A-class ships to S-class ships in the open sea. It is precisely such a brilliant record that makes Mark the boatman become an excellent boatman in the open sea. The female boatman glanced at Su Yan and said, You can see my master if you want, but there are a few rules. Article 1, first pay 100,000 star coins as a security deposit. 35, second, you have to look at the ships first, my master is a legendary boatman, and ordinary ships are not something he can like. Article 3, say in advance what you want to do, and we will tell you in advance if we can't take it. After listening to the three rules, Su Yen also nodded. It makes sense, after all, it's normal for legendary boatmen to have some rules. So, Su Yen opened up his technological wrist. Hand over the ship information of the Hyperion, as well as the blueprints of the overloadable reactor and the rechargeable warp device to the female sailor. I need to install these two devices on the ship, the requirements are as simple as that. Su Yen was not afraid that they would run away with the blueprint. There is an encryption program on the drawing, and some important data are covered up. Even if they get the drawing, they cannot create it. After receiving the ship information and two blueprints, the female boatman's expression changed suddenly. S-Class Ships? 39. Hearing this sentence, the surrounding boatmen also looked over. But this time, their eyes were full of shock. This young man actually owns an S-Class ship? Although they have seen a lot of S-Class ships, most of those S-Class ships are owned by Planet Lords. It was the first time they had seen such a young man with an S-Class ship. The female boatman glanced at Su Yen, and then her attitude became very respectful. Wait a moment, I'll send these materials to my master. Not long after, the legendary boatman Mark also hurried over from the rest area, behind the dock. After seeing the legendary boatman Mark in front of him, Su Yen also understood why he became a legendary boater. Because this legendary boatman is actually a member of the Space Dwarves. I saw the legendary boatman Mark came to Su Yen, and after seeing Su Yan's appearance, he couldn't help but be amazed. Oh, a blue star human, still a young man. Having an S-Class ship of your own at a young age is amazing. I took a look at your ship's blueprint. To be honest, your ship is a little closer to being promoted to an SS-Class ship. Unfortunately, even if the two blueprints you gave me are equipped, it is difficult for them to be promoted to SS rank. 95. Having said this, Mark also shook his head a little regretfully. He also thought that he could become the first legendary boatman in the open sea to upgrade an S-Class ship to an SS-Class ship. Su Yen is also very clear that the current Hyperion still lacks a V-shaped Yamato cannon, so it can be considered perfect. But so far, he has not signed the drawings of the V-shaped cannon. Even if he wanted to upgrade, he couldn't force it. 
Mark glanced at the drawings of the Hyperion, and then said, These two things, I can help you install them on your ship. But, I have a condition. What conditions? Su Yen also looked at Mark. He was a little curious. Mark wanted to make some strange conditions before he would be willing to help him upgrade the ship. And what Mark said next shocked everyone. My condition is to let my apprentice, Xiao Yu, get on your boat and be a boatman for you. What? For a while, Su Yen thought that she had heard it wrong. For his apprentice to be a boatman for himself, Su Yen didn't know for a while whether this was a condition or a reward. Seeing the change in Su Yan's face, Mark also frowned. What? Look down on my apprentice? Although my apprentice is still young, her talent is far superior to mine, and her future achievements will definitely not be inferior to me. If you don't agree, you should go to someone else for the upgrade of this ship. 35. After all, Mark turned around and was about to leave. Seeing this, Su Yan also quickly said, Master Mark, it's not that I disagree, it's mainly that your apprentice has to agree. Hearing this sentence, Xiao Yu, the female boatman next to Mark, also had a hint of anxiety on her face. What happened? How could his master push himself outside? Thinking of this, Mark also glanced at Xiao Yu, and then said with a serious face, Come with me. Xiao Yu glanced at Su Yan, and followed the master obediently to the rest area at the back. As soon as he arrived at the rest area, Xiao Yu couldn't help but 013 said, Master, do you want me? How can you push me outside? 35. Hearing this sentence, Mark also snorted lightly. Xiao Yu, didn't you hear what I said just now? That ship needs to come to the door before it can be promoted to SS class ship. You are my most proud apprentice, you are enough in terms of technology, but you still need fame to become a legendary boatman. 35. This ship is the most important step for you to become a legendary boatman. When you have successfully completed the final touch, you will become the first and only legendary seaman in the open sea to upgrade an S-Class ship to an SS-Class ship. 39. As soon as these words came out, Xiaoyu also immediately understood the good intentions of her master. It turned out that he was making his own. Thinking of this, Xiaoyu is also mentally prepared, she must make the Hyperion the best ship in the entire Star Sea. After getting mentally prepared, Su Yen also saw Xiao Yu walking straight towards him. Captain, as long as you say a word, from now on I will be the boatman on your ship. As soon as these words came out, Su Yen was also stunned. I just wanted to come over and upgrade the ship, so I got a boatman? Ding, Xiao Yu's request to be your crew member, do you accept it? Accept. If you don't accept it, there will be a ghost. This is a disciple of a legendary boatman. Name Little Rain. Race, Wasteland Star Indigenous. Psionic Value 200-200. Strength 200. Physique 300. Mental Power 20. Talent. Full Fire. When crafting weapons, the chance of appearing fine weapons is greatly increased. Legendary Disciple, Legendary Ship's Disciple, all ship maintenance and manufacturing skills have reached S rank. Ingenuity, it is easier to find the problem of the ship, and the accident rate of the ship is infinitely close to zero. It was an S-class boatman, and Su Yan couldn't believe it. Unexpectedly, when I came to upgrade the ship myself, I could pick up a boatman for nothing. After thinking for a moment, Su Yan also agreed to Xiao Yu's request to board the boat. It just so happened that there was still a lack of a boatman in his fleet. With the addition of Xiaoyu, ships such as the Hyperion can at least save a lot of time in ship maintenance. Thinking of this, Su Yan also looked at Xiaoyu, and then extended his hand to him. In that case, you are welcome to join my fleet. The other crew members were also delighted to see the new crew join. After all, in this case, they will have another sister on board. Soon. Lin Qingyue and others also became familiar with Xiaoyu. Su Yan couldn't help but sigh, the friendship between women is really strange. Later, the legendary boatman Mark also looked at Su Yan. Next, you transfer your ship to our dock, and I will help you complete the upgrade. 
Take advantage of this time, you can go to the black market in the city that never sleeps and have a look. Recently, the city that never sleeps is holding a black market celebration. Many black market merchants come from various galaxy, maybe you can find some treasures from the black market, black market celebration. This is the second time, Su Yen has heard this term. It seems that the black market festival is also a relatively well-known event in Wasteland. Thinking of this, Su Yen also nodded. As it happens, the upgrade of the Hyperion is not something that can be done in a day or two. Taking advantage of this time, they can just go to the black market celebration. Maybe you can find some good things from the black market celebration. After all, this is the Wasteland Star, and after the Star Gate is the Devil's Triangle. There will definitely be some black market merchants from the inner sea on the black market, and the inner sea is a good place for treasures. So, after Su Yan left the dock, he also took Lin Qingyue and others to the place where the black market celebration was, the Wasteland Black Market. Before going to the black market, Su Yan also bought a mask for everyone. After wearing a mask, you can simply cover your appearance. After all, it is a black market, and many things on it are not necessarily clean. There are all kinds of things. In the Xinghai, the black market industry is strictly a gray industry. Su Yan and others put on masks and black cloaks to hide their appearance and figure. Lin Qingyue under the black robe looked excited, wow, are we so fully armed? Everyone in the black market basically wears this attire, after all, the things inside are not clean. After you go in for a while, don't run around, there are many people in the black market of the 3rd rate and 9th sect, be careful to abduct you and send them to others to mine. Su Yan also frightened Lin Qingyue like a joke. Lin Qingyue stuck out her tongue and said disdain, but her little hand still tightly grasped Su Yan's black robe. Seeing this, Su Yan was not broken, and continued to take a few people to the black market. When I came to the black market in the wasteland, I saw a pair of lanterns everywhere. Seeing the scene, Su Yan couldn't help but sigh. The only one who dares to put the black market industry on the table so blatantly is Wasteland Star. Sure enough, the closer to the inner sea, the more obvious the darkness of the Xinghai. Walking into the black market, people in black robes of all shapes and sizes come and go, shuttling back and forth in the black market. Su Yan walked into the black market in the wasteland and looked around, and saw all kinds of black market merchants displaying their products and putting them on the stalls for people to choose from. Just then, Su Yan saw a booth. At the booth, a black market merchant wearing a ghost mask looked up at Su Yan. Want something? I'm selling the corpses of some star sea creatures here. Su Yan stopped because he saw something at this stall. The heart of the Zerg Hunter. I saw that the heart of the Zerg Hunter was packed in a jar full of nutrient solution. Seeing that Su Yan's eyes fell on the Zerg heart, the black market businessman also said lightly, this is the heart of a Zerg Hunter. You can rest assured that the heart of the Zerg can be transplanted into the bodies of other Xinghai creatures, and it will not be controlled by the will of the Zerg. How's it going? Brother, do you want one? In order to completely take out this heart, I spent a lot of effort. Speaking of which, the black market merchant also looked at Su Yen. Su Yen waved his hand, this black market businessman can strip the heart of a Zerg hunter alive, and he is also a ruthless man. The guy who can become a black market businessman does not have a fuel efficient lamp. Seeing that Su Yen refused, the black market merchant did not forcefully buy or sell. Continuing to walk forward, it didn't take long for him to stop at a booth. Seeing Su Yen parked in front of his booth, the black market merchant also came over immediately with a flattering expression on his face. Boss, what do you want? Ling Bing next to him glanced at the things on the booth and narrowed his eyes, because this booth sells one smart chip after another. You must know that since the Iron Man Empire swept the entire Xinghai, intelligent AI systems have been strictly prohibited from being manufactured. Many fleet systems now need to be controlled by hand, and it is impossible to drive ships without certain experience. In the past, only one intelligent AI housekeeper was needed to monitor the entire ship. But precisely because of this, when the Iron Man Empire rebelled, 
all the ships equipped with intelligent AI systems were invaded. It is precisely because of the painful lesson that no matter what race the entire Xinghai is, intelligent AI systems are a taboo research direction for them. However, now this booth is selling one smart AI system chip after another. These chips can be activated as long as they are implanted in any machine, and after activation, intelligent AI will appear. Intelligent AI chip, this thing is a taboo item. Hearing this sentence, the black market merchant also smiled bitterly, this boss, I am a small business, and few things on the black market are legal. Besides, these intelligent AIs of mine are all low-level AIs, made purely for the convenience of the masters. At this moment, another man in black robe came to this stall. When he saw the many smart AI chips on the booth, his eyes lit up. Isn't the manufacture of smart AI chips prohibited? Good luck, I didn't expect someone to sell this stuff. Boss, how do you sell this advanced intelligent AI chip? The black market businessman immediately smiled and said, This boss, the advanced intelligent AI chip only needs 10,000 star coins. 55. This high-level intelligent AI is much smarter than the low-level intelligent AI, and it will definitely become your internal helper. After hearing the price, the man in black robe was also a little surprised. So cheap? Get me one. Okay, thank you for your patronage. 35. At this time, Ling Bing suddenly asked the man in black robe who wanted to buy a smart AI chip. If you buy an intelligent AI chip, you are not afraid that when you encounter Iron Man, will they invade your system? Hearing this sentence, the man in black robe was a little disapproving. After all, the Gamma Empire had already been broadcast live in the entire Star Sea before, and the planet where the Iron Man Empire was located had been destroyed by the Star Destroyer weapons. Those Iron Men don't even have the ability of interstellar navigation, so how can they escape the destruction of star-level weapons? Under the influence of this black-robed man, the Iron Man has long been wiped out. Didn't you watch the live broadcast of the annihilation of the Iron Man Empire? Those Iron Men are probably dead long ago, so I just want to buy an intelligent AI. When I go on interstellar voyages in the future, I can let the intelligent AI help me sail the boat. Wouldn't it save a lot of effort? Hearing this sentence, Su Yen also squinted at the black market merchant. Because when the man in black robe said that the Iron Man Empire had been annihilated, the black market merchant calmly clenched his fists. The movement is very small, but under Su Yen's special attention, this little movement is also brought into the field of vision by Su Yen. Su Yen sneered, and at this time, he also had a bold guess in his heart. Finally, Su Yen also looked at the black market merchants. Is the Iron Man really wiped out? Boss, do you think those Iron Men should be wiped out? The black market businessman did not expect that Su Yen would suddenly ask himself. There was silence, and the black-robed man opposite also felt that the atmosphere was a bit wrong. Therefore, he also put down the intelligent AI chip in his hand. Ahem, I think it's a good thing for me to drive the spaceship by myself. After all, the man in black robe quickly left this place of right and wrong. At this time, the black market merchant was also angry. Good. With a sudden slap on the table, the black market merchant said angrily, What the hell are you buying? Buy, I definitely want to buy it, you must first assure me that your smart AI chip has not been touched. 99. After all, Su Yen also put intelligent AI chips in front of black market merchants. The surrounding crowd also gathered after hearing the movement here. Let's not say that you are not sure that Iron Man is completely extinct, just sell smart AI chips here. If you think your smart AI chip is fine, put this smart AI chip in your tech watch now and activate it. 99. As soon as these words came out, the black market merchant also clenched his fists. At this time, Su Yen can basically determine the factory. This guy is not the Xinghai race at all, but an Iron Man disguised as the Xinghai race. But any Xinghai race will not continue to sell intelligent AI chips after the Iron Man Empire has appeared. This kind of intelligent AI chip will not bring convenience to people at all, it will only bring convenience to Iron Man. Brush The black market businessman pulled out a laser gun from the stall, 
and there was a trace of fierceness in his eyes. Isn't it your fault for Timo? Seeing that the other party was in a hurry, Su Yan quickly took a step back, and then the power of psychic energy exploded. Gravity control, 100 times gravity, in the next second, the laser gun was suddenly exerted a hundred times gravity by Su Yen. Unpredictable, the black market businessman was directly pressed to the ground by the laser gun. The huge fall impact directly drove the black market merchant to the ground. At this time, Su Yen also took out a laser gun of his own. The laser gun was aimed at the black market merchant, and the surrounding black market merchants immediately became vigilant. What's the situation? How could anyone dare to do it on the black market? Black market celebration is one of the best events in the wasteland, is this guy crazy? If he dares to do it, it is estimated that the Western Conference will come to him soon. It seems that this year's black market celebration is not easy. Speaking of this, the surrounding black market merchants also became vigilant. Many black market merchants touched the weapons around them. After all, they lived a job of walking on the tip of a knife, and if they didn't even have a little effort, they really might not be able to live until now. And Su Yen looked at the black market merchant in front of him and said, coldly, how long are you going to pretend? You monster in human skin. Boom. One shot. The bullet penetrated the body of the black market merchant on the opposite side. But what happened next shocked everyone. Because the black market businessman is not dead, his body is actually a mechanical circuit and metal gears. Is this black market businessman in front of him an iron man? For a time, all black market merchants felt a chill behind them. At this moment, everyone looked at everyone beside them, for fear of being an iron man in disguise. And Su Yen looked at the black market businessman in front of him and stepped on his head. Say, how many smart AI chips have you sold? What do these smart AI chips do? At this moment, Su Yen also felt a chill behind him. Because these iron men are more and more like a living star sea race, at first, he didn't recognize this guy as an iron man. Until he showed his flaws, because of that sentence. Thinking of this, Su Yen also felt a chill down her spine. When I saw those iron men for the first time, those iron men were like a robot operating according to a mechanical program. But, the second time they saw the Iron Men themselves, they learned to disguise. Even his words and deeds are no different from ordinary Xinghai races. And the third time, the camouflage technology on the opposite side has made it almost impossible to tell whether he is an Iron Man. With such an amazing learning ability, Iron Man's camouflage technology is growing exponentially. Coupled with the blessing of the camouflage skin, it is no longer known how many Iron Men have been integrated into the Sea of Stars. This is far more terrifying than when he saw the city built by the Iron Man Empire on the North Star. At least, that Iron Man Empire is on the bright side. But now, it is estimated that except Su Yen, no one else knows that these Iron Men not only did not die, but quietly disguised themselves and merged into the Sea of Stars. I didn't expect that I was disguised so well, but you still found me. 39. Su Yen, you are indeed the number one enemy of our Iron Man Empire, I'll come back again. With your skills, it's still too early to catch me. After all, the black market merchant rolled his eyes and collapsed to the ground. Seeing this scene, Su Yen also flashed a gloomy look in his eyes. Let this guy run away, this guy has uploaded his data body to other bodies. Now even if you want to continue tracking, there is no trace. This is the most troublesome place to deal with Iron Man, you never know how many substitutes the other party has. At this time, there was a commotion in the distance. The guards of the Western Union also followed, and they were seen wearing exoskeleton armor, and the whole body was protected by armor. What happened here? Yes. There is an Iron Man among our black market merchants, but the Iron Man has been dealt with by that little brother. As soon as these words came out, even the guards' expressions changed. Iron Man? How is this possible? Iron Man appeared on their planet. This is a big event. If the Gamma Empire knew that the Iron Man appeared on their wasteland star, it is estimated that they would be ready to come with their destroyer star weapons now, 
several guards were also nervous, and those guards also came to Su Yan's side. When they saw Iron Man's body, they couldn't help but feel a chill behind them. Really Iron Man? Shouldn't those guys have been destroyed by Gamma Empire's annihilating weapons? Thinking of this, several guards glanced at the smart AI chips on the ground. Those Iron Men are selling smart AI chips? Seeing this scene, those guards felt even more terrified. You must know that the Iron Man consciousness was born from intelligent AI, and it is precisely because of this that intelligent AI technology is also called a taboo technology. However, with the demise of the Iron Man Empire, some new civilizations are also developing intelligent AI technology. Originally, they also turned a blind eye, but since the Iron Man Empire reappeared, this technology was once again strictly prohibited by the Gamma Empire. Today, these smart AI chips are appearing so openly on their turf. The most important thing is that it is still an Iron Man selling it. This is tantamount to being invisible, and their Western Union has made a lot of contributions to the expansion of the Iron Man Empire. Your Excellency, can we take these things back? Now these guards do not dare to slack off. Seeing this, Su Yan also stepped aside, and then said lightly, Today's Iron Man has learned advanced camouflage abilities, so you all have to be careful. Having said that, Su Yan also warned these guards. Several guards also nodded, indicating that they would pass these words on to the top of the Western Union. Underground of the city that never sleeps, DBCG, this is the slum of the city that never sleeps. Various underground pipes are densely arranged here, like cobwebs. The upper layer of the city that never sleeps is called the city that never sleeps, while the lower layer of the city that never sleeps has another term, the burrow. The people living in the burrows are all the Wasteland Star natives who once lived in this area. However, now they can only live underground. It is possible to live in the burrow by relying on the discarded garbage left behind in the upper city that never sleeps. And in a dim room in the burrow, a pair of eyes suddenly lit up. Immediately afterwards, a middle-aged man walked out of the dormant cabin. After walking out of the secret room, he came to a shop where all kinds of mechanical things were placed. The shop owner glanced at the middle-aged man and asked, Your mission has failed, and our plan needs to be advanced. The middle-aged man gritted his teeth, and a burst of anger burned in his chest like fire. After downloading the bio-emotional program, the middle-aged man felt that his actions were often disturbed by the emotional program. It's that human named Su Yan again, and he also caught the group of guys from the Red River Mercenary Group. Those wastes, if you can transfer the data in advance, it would be better to talk about it, and now they are caught alive, if the program in their minds is cracked, it will be broken. Hearing this sentence, the shop owner also nodded. In order to better integrate into the Sea of Stars, every Iron Man has downloaded an emotional program. This makes their words and actions more human-like. But even with such a disguise, there are always unexpected situations, and Su Yen is that unexpected situation. This human being named Su Yen has repeatedly sabotaged our plan, but it is also difficult for us to kill him now. 99. Currently our primary goal is to mobilize the Wasteland Star and take the opportunity to take control of the Stargate. We're running out of time now, the Western Conference will take notice of this soon, and we can't wait any longer. Speaking of this, the shop owner's expression became solemn. They originally thought to continue to pave the way for a while before launching an attack. But now, because of Su Yan's appearance, all their plans have been disrupted. The arrow is on the string, and if the Western Union reacts, it will be too late for them to mobilize. At this moment, Su Yan sighed helplessly after leaving the black market. After that happened, the black market festival was closed immediately. Those black market traders have now been dismissed, but the most deadly thing is that the Western Union has also announced a blockade. No one is allowed to leave the wasteland until they find out how many disguised iron men there are on the wasteland. All the docks and starports were blocked, and those star sea races were also suffering. It's over, I can't leave the wasteland star now, what if those iron men fight back? Alas, this is too unfortunate, I originally planned to take advantage of this black market celebration to buy some goods, but I was directly trapped here, 
Don't worry, everyone, the Western Union has already sent a fleet to come, and it's only a few days of aristocratic families. 35, that's right, you don't have to worry too much. There are 100,000 garrison troops stationed in the Wasteland Star. Forgive those iron men who can't make any waves. 35, walking on the street at the moment, Su Yen is also listening to the conversations of passers-by around. I have to say that the Western Alliance responded quickly this time, and blocked Star Harbor as soon as the Iron Man was discovered. Next, even if those Iron Men have great ability, they can't escape the net. Boo! At this moment, the mountain shook for a while. Lin Qingyue let out a scream, and then hugged Su Yen. And Su Yen also stood firm and looked around, only to see a thick smoke coming out not far away. What's the situation? But before Su Yen understood what was going on, the ground under his feet trembled again. It seemed that something was rushing out from the bottom of the city that never sleeps. Roar! A loud roar came from a distance. Su Yen couldn't help but look in the direction of the sound. Immediately afterwards, he saw an incredible thing appear in his field of vision. A huge mechanical monster appeared on the surface of the city that never sleeps, minus. At the moment when this mechanical monster appeared, a beam of blue light was sprayed out from its mouth. In an instant, all the surrounding buildings exploded. Mechanical monsters? Su Yen almost thought she had crossed over again. In this city that never sleeps, how could such a huge mechanical monster appear? Moreover, the shape of this mechanical monster is like a huge upright lizard, and it is nearly 70 meters tall just standing there. How did such a huge body hide in the city that never sleeps? What do the guards in the city that never sleep eat? Such a behemoth was hidden in the underground of the city that never sleeps, and they didn't even find it? Do all the 100,000 garrisoners eat dry rice? A behemoth of 70 meters was not found in the underground of the city that never sleeps. But at this time, Su Yen could no longer blame the defenders of the city that never sleeps because the eyes of this mechanical monster have already fallen on him. Immediately afterwards, this mechanical monster attacked directly towards him. Seeing this scene, Su Yen also frowned slightly. This monster is coming towards me. 35. Seeing the monster coming towards them, Bai Ying immediately blocked Su Yan's face. But Su Yan said to Bai Ying, don't worry about me for now, this mechanical monster is coming for me, you bring Qingyue and the others to the dock first. All of his ships are in the starport, and the nearest ship is the Hyperion, which is being upgraded in the dock. So far, only the dock side is the safest. But what would you do without me? Baiying also saw that this mechanical monster was attacking directly towards Su Yan. Of all the people present, Su Yan's situation was undoubtedly the most dangerous. But at this time, Su Yan also grabbed Bai Ying's shoulder and said, Among everyone, only you and I are psionicists. 35. Ling Bing and Qing Yue are ordinary people after all. I can protect myself, you take them out of here immediately. Stay with me, you will only be more dangerous. Under Su Yan's almost imperative tone, Bai Ying also gritted her teeth, and finally chose to take Lin Qingyue and the others to take refuge. After watching Bai Ying and others leave, Su Yen also chuckled. His eyes fell on the huge mechanical monster. Is this what your Iron Man do? It is impossible for Wasteland to create such a huge mechanical creation. And according to the metal material on this mechanical creation, the most low-level alloys are used. Obviously, they are all made of some tattered metal. To build a behemoth so sneakily, no one else can do it except those iron men. Moreover, this mechanical monster has such a strong hostility towards itself. Isn't that a sign that the iron men are mad at themselves? Ever since he found the iron man, he had guessed that on the wasteland star, those iron men must have some means to exist. But I didn't expect that these iron men had already corroded the wasteland star. Such a huge machine is hidden underground and has not been found. Now, this huge mechanical monster is also taking unshakable steps, slowly walking towards him. Wherever it goes, the building collapses, and any obstacles that stand in its way will be destroyed by it. 
and Su Yan also turned on the technology watch. In dealing with such a behemoth with a height of nearly 100 meters, nothing is more experienced than the Dangerous Wanderer and the Storm Red. Calling Dangerous Wanderers and Storm Crimson. It is expected to arrive at the battlefield in five minutes. Waking up the battle nun, it is expected to arrive at the battlefield in five minutes. Looking at the countdown on the watch, Su Yen also looked at the mechanical monster that was close at hand. Five minutes, as long as you can survive these five minutes is enough. Thinking of this, Su Yen also mobilized his psychic energy. The gravity of the body is also reduced, so that the speed of the movement can be faster. Su Yen stepped on the ground and jumped in the air, jumping directly to a height of 100 meters. Seeing Su Yan's figure appearing, the Iron Man's will in the mechanical monster also locked Su Yan's figure. Immediately afterwards, the mechanical monster opened its bloody mouth, and a beam of laser brewed in its mouth. Boom! In the center of the nightless city garrison, all the garrison felt a whirlwind at this moment. At this time, the garrison commander was also nervous. What happened? At this juncture, where I just discovered Iron Man, don't have any major problems. But it was clear that the problems this time were far beyond his control. Report sir. A large mechanical puppet was found on the outskirts of the city, about 70 meters tall, and equipped with a large plasma laser beam. Now this large mechanical puppet is moving towards the center of the city, and every building it passes has been destroyed. As soon as these words came out, the garrison commander also paled. A large mechanical puppet 70 meters high? For a moment, he even thought that the garrison was joking with him. A large mechanical puppet with a height of 70 meters appeared in the area under its jurisdiction? If this matter is known to the top of the Western Union, even if I jump into the Yellow River, I will not be able to wash it out. How is that possible? Where did the 70-meter large mechanical puppet come from? How on earth are you guarding troops of 100,000 guarding the safety of the city that never sleeps? The garrison commander almost roared these words. The surrounding garrison immediately lowered their heads until a garrison stepped forward. Report sir, this large mechanical puppet crawled out of the burrow. Burrow? The garrison commander spent a long time trying to find the word burrow in his mind. The burrow, isn't that the sewer of the city that never sleeps? Because of the huge scale of the city that never sleeps, the sewer system of the city that never sleeps is also called a small city. The people living in the burrows are what they call beggars and poor people. The general guards will also patrol from time to time, but only occasionally. Most of them just patrolled the door and went back. After all, what kind of waves can be made next to these poor people who have no money and no power? But it was such an oversight that Iron Man found a loophole. Iron Man develops his own power in the burrow, collecting scrap iron and resources that are not used by the upper class to create mechanical monsters. Not only that, they also coerced and lured the beggars at the bottom, transforming them into Iron Men. Now, the Jing Cavern has been devoured by the Iron Man. The commander of the garrison was also furious, these wastes actually allowed the Iron Man to develop to such an extent under their noses. Trash, it's a bunch of trash. Immediately call up the holographic map of the city that never sleeps, and launch a counterattack immediately. We must not let those Iron Men occupy the city that never sleeps. Also, pass the news here, to the Western Union immediately, we need fire support. Only the equipment of their garrison army is still a little too difficult to fight against that giant mechanical monster. But at this moment, in the picture, a figure appeared from the abyss cave that was broken open by the mechanical monster. These people held simple modified firearms and wore simple armor made of scrap iron. However, if you look closely, you can find that most of these people's bodies have been transformed into machines. Now they are half-iron men, between iron and human. Zero, and these half-iron men were transformed from the civilians in the burrows. The ideas of these half-iron men are the same as those of iron men, and the reason why they were transformed into half-iron men is purely to save materials. The half-iron men, despite their superficial hilarious appearances, continue to grow in numbers. In the blink of an eye, tens of thousands of half-iron men have climbed out of the deep pit. 
After they saw the Xinghai creature not far away, they decisively fired. Those Xinghai creatures didn't even have time to react, and they were directly shot and killed by these guys. Seeing the sharp increase in the number of these half-iron men, the garrison commander could not help but wipe a cold sweat. Are there so many civilians in the borough? The number of these half-iron men is now approaching 100,000. The commander of the garrison also swallowed, everyone, go to the crack immediately and suppress those monsters that have lost their humanity. As soon as the voice fell, a gunshot sounded. Accompanied by a series of screams, the garrison commander glanced at the flowers of blood that kept blooming on his chest. He turned around and looked over, and saw several iron men in garrison uniforms standing at the door, with laser guns. The garrison commander's eyes widened, when did the iron man sneak into their interior? Seeing that the garrison commander was dying, these iron men cut off the gun decisively without any emotion. Very good. The headquarters of the Wasteland Star Garrison is ours. One of the Iron Men took a chip out of his arms. If Su Yan was present at this time, he would have recognized that this chip was the smart AI chip that Iron Man black market merchants had sold to others. The chip was stuffed into the system hard drive of the Garrison Command Center. Soon, the chip was activated, and an intelligent AI appeared on the screen. Hello, Smart AI Butler is happy to serve you. Start the backup program, password, the Iron Man Empire, is immortal. This smart AI chip is indeed a smart AI chip in normal use. But as long as someone enters a special password, this intelligent AI will turn into the most loyal soldier of the Iron Man Empire. The password is entered correctly, and the zero protocol is being loaded. The loading is successful, and all organic life forms are eliminated. Kuei, thank you for watching Mystic Realms Recap. Please like share and subscribe. Have a great day.